Welcome to a presentation on open records laws in community and archival contexts, entitled Community Archivists Flex That Muscle. Throughout this presentation, look for blue offset hyperlinks to community and archival projects, as well as to additional resources. Let's begin with a brief introduction to open records laws. According to the Society of American Archivists, an open records law is a statute that guarantees the public has access to information held by governments. At the federal level, there is FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act, perhaps the most well-known of open records laws. But open records laws are in place at the state level as well. These statutes, also known as sunshine laws, exist in each of the 50 states. So why should we care? The work of community archivists is often positioned at or near the nexus of activism and archiving. Here are three ways open records laws fit into that work. They preempt the disposal or destruction of records. As archivists, we can appreciate the preservation of records that members of the public might find valuable. They give even non-academic researchers access. As activists, this is important to ensuring justice is accessible to all. They provide a backstage means of access when institutions stonewall the public, bringing to light documents that might otherwise have stayed inaccessible and hidden, melding archivist concerns of access and activist concerns of transparency. We will now look at three projects at the crossroads of archiving and activism, each one embodying one of these three potentials. Preempting Disposal First, we will consider an archival project, the National Security Archive. No connection to the National Security Agency of the United States, the National Security Archive is a non-governmental organization affiliated with the George Washington University Gelman Library. This archive claims to be the leading nonprofit user of the U.S. Freedom of Information Act and has filed some 50,000 FOIA requests over the last three decades. The archive maintains a digital database of these formerly classified documents. In addition to providing access to how-to resources on filing FOIA requests, the National Security Archive acts as a, quote, public interest law firm defending and expanding public access to government information, end quote. Enabling non-academic researchers. Now let's turn our consideration to a primarily activist organization. The Community Access Project of Somerville, Massachusetts is a community organization dedicated to ensuring that seniors and people with disabilities have freedom of movement through their communities, equal access to public services and goods, and access to neighborhood refuges, such as libraries. Using the Freedom of Information Act, CAP was able to, quote, provide actionable proof that the city was spending millions of dollars on street beautification projects that didn't even adhere to the minimal access code." End quote. According to Community Access Project Director Eileen Feldman, this FOIA request ultimately resulted in a major citywide streetscape improvement effort. Access around obfuscation. Finally, let's consider a project that powerfully melts archiving and activism. Conceived as a response to police violence, the Police Use of Force Project is an initiative of Campaign Zero, a multi-platform movement to end police brutality and ensure public oversight. The activists at the helm of this project, all of whom are rooted in the Ferguson, Missouri community, found that important information about police use of force is hidden from public view. Using the Freedom of Information Act, the project is assembling the first open source database of police use of force policies for the 100 largest U.S. city police departments in order to increase transparency and spotlight department policies that endanger the public. As powerful a tool as open records laws are, however, they do have their limitations. State statutes offer highly variable levels of effectiveness. The Federal Freedom of Information Act can be used as a model to take the measurement of the strength of a state's open records laws. 
Under the Federal Freedom of Information Act, the requesting party is entitled to a response within 20 days. If the federal agency does not meet this deadline and cannot provide evidence of unusual circumstances in defense of this failure, it can be subject to judicial review. Any person can file a Federal Freedom of Information Act, including non-U.S. citizens and minors. At the state level, however, open records laws vary widely. In some states, there are no deadlines for response times, there are no sanctions for non-complying agencies, and people who are incarcerated, not a citizen of the state or of the United States, or are not of majority age, cannot file. Even the Federal Freedom of Information Act is not perfect. Requested documents often come back full of redactions to the point of uselessness. In addition, both state and federal agencies will sometimes charge a fee to fulfill a request. Requesters should not despair, however. In some cases, fees can be waived. Through hard-won legislative battles, redactions have been lifted. It is useful to think of open records laws as a muscle. The more we use it, the stronger it will become. Here are some tips for filing requests using open records laws. First, before you file, make sure that the information you're seeking isn't already publicly available. When you file, be as specific as possible. Eileen Feldman of the Community Access Project recommends citing news articles and reports that reference the document you're seeking. Finally, once you have filed, Nate Jones, head of the National Security Archives FOIA project, offers this advice. If at first you don't succeed, or even if you do, appeal, appeal, appeal. Statistics show that one-third of all requests that are appealed get more information. Here are some additional resources. The Reporters Committee for Freedom of the Press has a comprehensive open government guide, a compendium which includes the text of each state's laws. Muckrock is a collaborative news site that also facilitates records requests for a reasonable fee. The resulting documents become part of a database that is open and free of charge. Using open records laws for research purposes. The authors of this paper investigate open records laws as a research tool within the field of library information science. The paper compares requests made in two states with drastically differing levels of open records law strength. Thank you for watching. I hope this presentation helps you feel empowered to flex your open records muscle.